Today we're going to look at our 2 megapixel intelligent auto tracking pan tilt zoom IP network security camera. This is our newest IP PTZ camera. It can achieve a resolution of up to 1080p. It's got a 30x optical zoom and a 1 3rd inch CMOS image sensor. Probably the most notable feature of this camera is its auto tracking feature, which means that this camera will follow a moving object on its own until it's out of view. Inside the box you'll also find a power supply, Teflon tape, this is the wall mount, a tube of maintenance oil, a weather seal, a connection plate, gloves, instruction manuals, software disc, and an Allen wrench. The camera has the following connectors. The video out, audio in and out, an RS-485 connector, these are your power cables, an alarm input and output, and a PoE connector. The camera comes with a ribbon of Teflon tape. The tape is used to lock out any moisture and prevent water from getting into the camera itself. Wrap the tape around the threading of the connection plate, then screw the connection plate onto the wall mount, and tighten the set screw. Then feed the input and output cables through the wall mount. You're now ready to attach the wall mount to the dome of the camera. Attach the connection plate to the dome and then tighten the screws with an Allen wrench. After the dome is attached to the wall mount, attach the safety hook to both the dome and the connection plate. This ensures that if the dome somehow gets detached, it won't go crashing to the floor. Attach the weather seal to the base of the wall mount, making sure that the lip on the bottom of the seal is facing the indention on the lower side of the mount. Before you turn the camera on, you'll have to make some adjustments under the dome. To remove the dome, take out the set screws on either side of the camera. Push up on one side of the dome. You might have to wiggle it from side to side to loosen it. Now that the dome is off, remove the tape and plastic lens cover. When doing maintenance to the camera, especially if the camera is upside down, hook the dome to the safety cable inside the body of the camera. Now, reattach the dome. Now the camera is ready to be mounted to the wall. 